Well, hello everybody. I'm here at the beach again, and I'm going to teach you how to paint. How to do what I call relief paintings. And that's it, basically where it's a uh, raised surface that shows a uh, texture, and a uh, simple concept looks really, really nice. It uh, starts off with, uh, basically, uh, a surface. Really any surface is good. I like to use a board canvas. I find it's a good solid surface to work on. Easily frameable, mountable, and easily mailable. Um, you don't got to worry about it uh, bending and breaking like you do with some of the stretch canvases. Uh, you take it when you prep it. You want to prep it with a primer so you get that good solid absorbable base. That way the paint will really adhere to it and you won't have any problems. Start applying, applying your paint and uh, just put it on. Have your idea in your mind, what you want to create, and then just do it. Put it on uh, the canvas. Don't just do it blindly. Do it with purpose. Do it with style and finesse. Something that's expressing how you're feeling. Saying something that maybe can't necessarily be said with words, but that you're going to say to the world through your paint. Go ahead and apply it out in your nice pattern. See what it comes out as. I'm using a tube acrylic paint uh, for this. Uh, you can get all kinds of uh, paint that comes in tubes. It basically makes it uh, easier to apply. Uh, you can almost use it in a pen style instead of a brush style. Different things for different people. I kind of like it because it dries and has a slightly raised surface. And then you're going to be treating that surface later on and you're going to need that raised effect on it. Once it dries, you want to go over the area again. So you're adding to that thickness. You're building that layers of paint that you're going to, once again, be needing that relief on to create your effect. So go ahead and add a second layer. Okay, now you got your uh, dried paint on there. This may take a day or two. Uh, this particular painting, it literally took two days uh, to get to this point. Now, what I'm doing is I'm applying a primer to it, a white primer. Uh, they also got the gray primer, which is good, especially when you're adding multiple layers of primer. Um, go ahead and add your primer. Let that dry. You might want to give it about half a day, a day. And put it in a nice dry area so no moisture gets into the paint. Now you also want to use proper respiratory equipment uh, when using this. I have a uh, full face mask that I use. Kind of bumped it up a notch. I was using like a, uh, a dust mask, uh, kind of like the cheap kind. And I'm like, you know, I got to bump this up to professional grade. And so I went ahead and got one that's good quality. Literally eliminates all the odor, uh, just about all the particles. Um, the paint fumes can be, uh, try and do it outside, but uh, paint fumes can be pretty strong, and with this thing, you don't smell anything. So I recommend getting one, kind of bumping up your uh, personal safety equipment. You want to get it from different angles. You want to get it from a top angle and a bottom angle. That way you're not missing any as the spray goes over and doesn't get uh, the underside of it. I call this particular painting cake because it kind of reminds me of a wedding cake. I don't know why. I think it looks really interesting and um, it was a neat concept that just kind of came to me. But the white, the little shimmer that's uh, added to it um, just kind of reminds me of a beautiful wedding cake. So that's what I'm calling it, cake. And now you're done. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, once again, I call this cake. I'm going to be selling this on the eBay site, uh, Go Team Photo, soon. And um, hopefully somebody will bid on it and buy it. 
Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope it kind of gave you some ideas on uh, projects that you want to do here in the future. And um, relief painting. Have a good time. See you around.